All right, guys, welcome back. In this video, I wanted to share my cool bike that I have. No, I'm just kidding. That's really not my bike, although I wish it was. But what I wanted to do for this video is show you how you can download the files for this project. And if you're like me, you really don't want to do any work if you don't have to. So I made it easy for you guys. So the files that I'm talking about, the system that we have been working all this time, which uh, is the login system where a person can register for your uh, for your system. In this case, you will, they will get three screens. One is to sign up where they can register for your stuff. Another one is a login where they can log in and obviously. And then another one is the password reset where they can reset the password. So all of this and all the database files behind scenes, I want to give it to you guys so you can use it and then you know it'll be cool so this is the file structure these are the files that will have all the php files in here and then we got the javascript file and then the database class and everything else and also on the top of the folder you will see a database uh, file this will have all the structure that you need to build in or rather install your mysql table and database and all that stuff for you so just to show you what i mean so this is the, uh, the database that I created. It's called the login system for our tutorial and has a table. So rather than you going in there and then typing the table, uh, creating the table, creating the database and putting in all these different fields I created for you where you could just uh, import that file and everything be good. So basically how this works is you wanna go back in here and then let's say, look at the databases and I'm gonna delete it and show you how this works. So I'm gonna toss this out Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to copy the name and then I'm going to say drop this database. So there is nothing in there. So there is no database. So basically, you just go to your my PHP my admin, type in this database name and then click create. And then the next thing what we want to do is import the table from the SQL file that I'm going to be providing for you to you rather. So you can easily do that. So let's navigate down to our folder. Well, I have it on HD Docs, but it, this will be part of your zip file and wherever you save this. So pretty much all you do is just click on this file called user and then scroll down and then hit go. And then this will include the file within uh, the table within the system. If I go back in here, there's the database, there's the file, and just check it out to show you what it does. I'm gonna go register, call it code with mark, and then I'm gonna type in mark2 password mark2 at gmail.com. Hit enter, send the email. And you guys already seen this in the previous video, so I'm not going to go into it. But if you haven't watched it, please go watch the previous video. This will all make sense to you. I'm going to click on confirm just to show you everything is working since I imported the table. And then it's like, hey, you already activated. So I'm going to go log in now. Password at gmail.com. Now I'm able to download the file. Click done and then last but not least show you the password reset part of it so i'm going to delete this cookie so if i refresh it it'll take me back to the screen all right so let's go to the password reset one gmail all right sweet everything is working so far yeah all right let's go to reset the password so i'm gonna go in here type in one two three one, two, three. Like, oh crap, this doesn't match. So let's try again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hit enter. Or rather click. All right, the password is reset it. If I go back to my login, try to log in now with the password that I just reset it. One, two, three. And then there we go. Everything is working. So that's all being. That's all there is to it. If you want to download it, you can click the link below to download this project file 
that will have all these files and folders for you to test the system out and learn from it so you don't have to write any single line of code so thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and without any further ado i'm gonna end this video but also click subscribe and share the video if you found this helpful and tell everybody that you are going to be a great awesome web developer because you learned this system how to create it and you want to go out there and create a bigger and better thing so i'll talk to you guys later peace